Hello, we are starting a new theme. Um, this theme for my nails, as you can see, it's kind of Mexican food and tropical drinks. And uh, we actually, the theme for the larger sized foods for the charms are going to be bakery sweets. So um, what we're going to look at right now is the green burrito. And then I'll have the charm size green burrito. It looks a little bit different. It has sour cream and cheese on it too. But the charm size I've already made a tutorial for. I'll include it in the description box. A link for it anyway. Here is my clay ratio. It's translucent primo and a little bit of white. I used uh, the Sculpey white because it's a yellow based white where the Primo White is a blue based. You have blue undertones. And I am going to use a half inch round cutter for those of you wondering on the size. But I wanted to show you. Once you have it mixed, if you don't have cutters and you aren't able to buy them yet, um, just experimenting rolling different size small balls and you could flatten them with your finger like this and they stay relatively round so whenever you need a flat round circle and you're making maybe one food and not a whole bunch um, you can always make your own circles by flattening them okay so here we go so I rolled out that white and translucent mixed after thoroughly mixing it and I'm cutting out a half inch round circle and I am going to use a toothbrush to texture it a little bit. When it's on your nails, you won't be able to see the texture much anyway. But I add just a little bit of texture. And I'm going to form the burrito here. So what I do to form the burrito is I fold in on one side a little bit and then on the opposite side I do the same thing so you can see it better this lighting seems terrible I'm sorry guys so I have two sides that are rolled in a bit and then I'm going to bend the third one in and then I roll it. You can see it makes a nice little burrito shape and I press down flatly slightly and you can see the other little size of the burrito but it gives you that nice rounded bottom that the burritos have on the sides. So that's it for the burrito but we have our sauce and our olive. Now, to form a slight curvature so it will hug your nail more rather than laying straight flat, I'm going to be putting a little bit of sauce on the um, just a little glass pebble. And these are the kind you see at either the pet stores for fish or for at a craft store. And as you can see, I just laid the, the burrito on it. Okay. Now from here for coloring the sauce, I'm doing a little bit of a green and some TLS. And then I do a yellow green. I do a lot more of that. But there's lots of other colors and it's a warm kind of a yellow green sauce. So I add yellow ochre. Then I'm going to add a touch of rust. So that is the mixture that I am using. As you can see, I used pastels this time and not food coloring. That's because the pastels don't tend to break down completely um, for a while. It takes a while of mixing it. And for this, it's good to have a little bit of that, um, the orange or the yellow flecks in it. So I stir it. You can see it's a soft green. The light in here is very bright behind me. So once I have that, I add a tiny bit to my pebble, and that helps our burrito stick. So I just kind of curve the burrito down. 
then I am going to add a little bit of sauce and you can have it dripping down the sides a little bit how much or how little sauce you add is up to you if you like red sauces I would also use the pastels use rust brown and the yellow ochre so there we go and then all that's left is a little olive you want to take black for your olive and you are forming a tiny tiny ball on your finger I forgot to grab my safety pin before starting here I thought I had everything but you take a safety pin or one of those double pointed needle tools and you place the ball on it and twist ever so gently then we slide it off stick it through the opposite way and ever so slightly and that creates the center opening part of your olive um, also the safety pin is good because it helps hold on to it a little bit better when you're attaching it so here we go here is a green burrito with an olive and so you would bake it and then it's curved so it will fit on your nail and that is how I made these um, also it's a good way to make tiny burritos on dollhouse plates although I'd use one a tiny bit bigger than a half inch but not a three quarters inch it would be somewhere between if you're wanting to do it more scale and I will be back shortly with the quesadilla so um, just trying to figure out um, yeah we will have this tutorial done because it was the green burrito and then um, I'll discuss the nails in another video um, but thank you for joining me if you have ideas for the next nail theme go ahead I was actually kind of thinking maybe I'll do miniature ice creams for my next nail um, I'm not married to it but um, you can suggest some ideas if you'd like I'll see you guys soon bye